Like the only difference here is um this one is alive, this one is dead, and Nanny is dead. Nanny is alive. So we're missing the, those three. It's supposed to say eight pot nanny alive, eight meat nanny alive. Okay. Hold on. Okay, hold on. So. I'm pretty sure we did that last time though. We did he heal her last time. Like instead. We healed, we healed her instantly, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let, let, let's eat them again. Maybe I, he I healed Nanny too late? That's a possibility. That I healed Nanny later than I'm supposed to? Okay, we got this one. I mean, you found more than I did. So that's good. I'm gonna check now. If I... If we just play through now... It might have been just that we did the thing wrong. And I didn't heal her, for, uh, you know, quick enough. And we don't need to go there at all. We need to go um, to the bedroom now. Yeah, that might actually be it. Let's see. If that's it, I'm gonna I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be really, really sad. Okay. Okay, now we have to go to the ritual center. Okay. We got that stuff. No lights. Face a plant. Well done. Okay. So next, summon the firstborn. Leave the room. Then we need to go downstairs to the rot, rotten heart thing, to the stupid man thing, if you will. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. Get down. Wait until the candles go out and then go back. Yeah, that, that might actually... I'm, I'm not sure when we healed Nana last time. So that, maybe that's it. Nanny. I don't know why I keep ca calling her Nana. That's... That's not my nana. Silly me. Also, I appreciate your searching too. Thank you very much.
We're done soon. There we go. Okay. We are heading back now. Wait, I'm wrong here. Oops. I didn't oopsie. Okay. Wrong direction again. I keep doing that. Wait, didn't I go up? Okay, now we chant three times. Oops. Stop farting at me. Oh, I forgot the gift, sure. Right. Right, right, right. Wonderful. Okay. Also, we still need to swing the guitar. I can't I help but notice. Can't help but notice. I'm not gonna do it now, though. Oh, yeah. Playing the waiting game. Love that. So, how's the old state going? Ugh. Come on, Annie, move your ass. I mean, the timer didn't need to be that long for that, I think. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a game designer. I'm just sipping my tea. Hey, Nanny. No? Come on, do it. Open the door. Hey, I'm... She's back? Okay. I wonder how the game decides which... Um, well, that's the wrong room, right? No. I wonder how the game deci uh, decides which... Um, chapter ending you use. For chapter 2, because they seem to be intertwined, right? So, which one does the game choose? If we did all of them before entering chapter 2? You know? Is it like the last one you did, or...? Can you decide?
I already forgot about the layout of the house. But I think this is right. Okay. Sit tight! Another episode of Sucker for Love at Date to Die For is coming up. Sorry, I ended up not giving the book back after all. Huh. Guess I've got to get involved now. The book is mine. Next time on Sucker for Love. House of Wax. Okay, let's see if that I worked now. Wait. If that doesn't, okay, it's fine. It's a bug, whatever. As long as we're not, you know, as long as we didn't do stuff wrong, I'm fine with uh, moving on to chapter two now. Like, we got all the endings, so... Technically, we should, you know, we should have them, but whatever. Yeah, see? Apparently, I ate the pot and then uh, uh, rejuvenated her or something. So maybe I was just wrong in the, um, in the process of it. Okay, cool. Yeah, it worked. Thank you again for looking that up. We got the whole chapter one going for us. Which means... We can go for the second date. Finally! Chapter two. House of Wax. That's a nice play for it. Did something scary happen? Uh, huh? In the book you're reading, did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Oh no. Oh, no, no. I must have nodded off and had a bad dream. What was it about? I cannot remember, but I saw something or someone, and then I passed out. Or woke up, I guess. Hmm. Either you were awake and passed out, and now you're dreaming, or you were dreaming and got scared awake. Either way, you're on the other side from whatever you saw, for now. Whatever I saw... <clears throat> Sorry. These dreams will be the end of me. I better find my siblings soon. Siblings? A year ago, all nine of my siblings vanished into the woods during a string of disappearances. They were never found. Earlier today, I received this picture in the mail. It's a photograph of all of them together at my grandmother's house here in Sacramento. It was taken recently. This photo is the whole reason I came here, but now it's making me uneasy, like there's something I'm forgetting about it. If you're having trouble finding a book you're interested in, may I make a suggestion? Yes, please. I think I need to get going before it gets too dark. I will quickly hear out and let her down gently. Sure. I believe you'll find this one to your liking. Are you for real? Huh? Smells funny. This book is... Dot dot dot. Explanation mark. Explanation mark. Roxanne. Her name was Roxanne. Where is she? A flood of fragmented memories is rushing back to me. I am back at the beginning of the nightmare. Am I just starting it all over? No, think. Some of my memories don't line up. I remember my parents going missing, but... My parents are alive and well. I just talked to them the other day. Something has changed. What's happening to me? Having trouble remembering what you dreamed about? That's perfectly normal. Humans forget 95% of their own dreams. I imagine they forget even more about the dreams of others. Don't you think? Who are you? Shh. It's alright. You're safe here. I am Moo. I made the book you're holding. Did you now? And she is the reason why this whole damned mess even exists. The black woods, the disappearances, all of it. You caused all of this? Ah, uh, you blame me for the misfortune befalling the black goat. Because I made the book to begin with. What? That's fair. But I merely created a means of communication between humans and gods. Am I truly to blame if someone else uses it for evil instead? 
I think there might have been. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move, move was a thing. Move was a thing. Right. Now that you mention it. We, we we had a ritual I think uh, with uh, a ritual with her, uh, with their name on it. I'm not sure if we saw them, but uh, there was a ritual including them. How is she just talking about gods like it's nothing? Are you another Eldritch god or an immortal human? I am neither of those things, but I am a friend here to aid you. You have regained a portion of your memories surrounding the book after looking at it, yes? That should lead you where you're trying to go. Thumping through the book, Roxanne's face is coming back to me. If I recall correctly, I should be able to get her through missing person lane. Thanks for giving this back to me. Don't thank me. In time, I hope you'll come to forgive me. This feels familiar. I'm getting some killer deja vu right now. I've definitely been here before. But even still, this alley feels unfamiliar. Like it changed completely from the last time I was here. I quickly pick a direction and break into a big, brisk jog. But no matter how hard I look, I cannot find my turn. Backtracking, hugging the walls, nothing seems to be helping. What was my house number again? I bet it's somewhere in the photo I got in the mail. Wait a minute, this... Hey, did this change? Nope, it's the same stuff. It's a fake, it's a trap. Just like last time. But nobody's there. But isn't this where I was supposed to... Run into that girl from last time? Instead I'm all alone. Something is wrong. Things are repeating themselves, but they're different. I won't be able to rely on what fragmented memories I have. Even stranger, I managed to arrive to my old house undetected this time. I better rush to my room and summon Roxanne. The Black Woods are back. Perform summon the... Uh oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Sarah, hey! Nah? <laughs> hey, Sarah, how are you? Welcome in. I hope you're doing fine. How are you? Happy Thursday. You startled me. You son of a- That's the girl Buckboard asked about! They fucking jump scared me. Why? <sighs> what are they all doing here? How'd they know I was coming? Oh, my head. You? That's it? Buck was so worried about you? Are you the Huntress, by any chance? <laughs> oh, arms. <laughs> huh. I was wondering what raw strength you must have had in order to scare Buck into calling me and for this. <sighs> and I was looking forward to tearing you apart. But you're just one scrawny mortal girl. I was promised you'd be an actual threat. This is overkill. Just do it yourselves. I hear the sounds of steel unsheathing and heavy chains dragging toward me. But the sounds halt a short distance from me. They are hesitating? Is it me or do they look afraid? What's wrong? What are you idiots waiting for? Buck says that in a previous reality, she somehow managed to kill all of us. Alone. The cultists are muttering uneasily amongst each other. Oh my god, guys. Oh! This is not dead by daylight. Sarah! Lucas! <laughs> oh man. This is, in fact, not my fault. This is probably Lucas's fault. If I if I would guess. Lucas, Sarah, thank you very much. 
How did DBD go for you? How? I know um, you went live when I went live, Lucas, so I wasn't able to lurk, sadly. But, uh, yeah. Good VR games. Uh, tune low, play slow. Thank you all for hanging. Uh, welcome in. We are playing Sucker for Love Day to Die for the second game in the franchise. It actually is Sarah's fault. What, Sarah? Also, yeah, thank you again for the follow, Sarah. Um, yeah, this is not Dead by Daylight. This is Sucker for Love Day to Die for. Uh, the second game in the franchise. It's a horror dating simulator and... Fuck me, it's scary. It's actually a scary dating sim. I mean, it's less a dating sim, it's more just a horror visual novel at this point. We tried to smooch them, but, you know, they didn't want it and whatever. We are currently in chapter 2, so if you want to play it for yourselves, maybe, you know, I, I don't mind you just leaving. Also, Lucas and Sarah, um... If you have to raid and run, that's completely fine. Thank you for leaving your um, victims with me, I guess. <laughs> it was a time, so I guess the killers weren't uh, fun at all today, huh? That's sad to hear. But again, it's DVD. How is the mid-chapter patch, by the way? I um, The twins had a change and stuff, I read, right? Is there something good going on, or is everything awful? You couldn't want to fight a thousand against one in your own base? It's bad. Oh god. I hate to hear that. Somewhere behind that mask, their cruel gaze is sizing me up. As if. I don't see it. You didn't see a single twi twin? I switched engines, so it's re been real bad. Oh no. Didn't they play test uh, switching the engines or something? Like, it, there has to be something. It can't be that bad, right? I mean, I believe you that it's bad. Uh, don't get me wrong, but, you know. <laughs> Come on, think. I need to break their confidence. Buck was telling the truth. I did beat you all. And then burned the Blackwoods down with everyone in it. Notice how Buck, the one who knows the most about me, is not here? Who did's behavior? Uh, fair enough. There's places where killers just get stuck. Oh, God. Ugh. You didn't want to risk it? She's that dangerous? They look visibly rattled. None of them want to risk their precious long-lived bodies. Now for the biggest bluff. Don't think I'm a threat? Don't think I can wipe the floor with you and your friends even now? Go on, underestimate me. Make the same mistake Buck did before he lost. Alright. I've heard enough. I'm interested. We are interested too, especially Jules. <laughs> I got them. Every single one of them dropped their weapons, except for the big one. However, you're wounded, unarmed, and outnumbered. I'm not about to live the next thousand years ashamed of myself for killing you now. Go lick your wounds first. <laughs> Billy, now is the good time for playing around. Billy. Shut up. Form a perimeter outside. No one gets out. No one comes in. Buck isn't gonna be happy about this. Buck will have his book. And her head. Finally. I doubt that. The cultists begrudgingly depart, retrieving their makeshift weapons from the ground. None so much as look at me as they pass. After all that talk, what you said about beating the thousand had better be true. Because if you can't prove your strength to me, <laughs> I'll destroy you. Did they break your arm? Oh, my arm? Oh. My arm. It really is broken. How am I going to make it out of this now? I won't let an unfair advantage hollow my victory. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Did she just straight up break her arm? Did they just break their own arm? <laughs> My expectations for you are high. I believe you really did beat the thousand once. But that ends here. Th that was what I was asking earlier, Lucas. <laughs> you have one ritual. Then I'm coming. <laughs> And don't think I'll stop at a couple broken ribs when I find you. Oh, God. 
That is like Artorias in Dark Souls 1, who broke his own arm so the player has a chance against him. <laughs> that, that's such a power move, what the fuck? <laughs> I bought myself some time, but what did I just get myself into? Okay, so we have one ritual. Go! I won't be denied my glory. Okay, no more. Oh, shite. Okay, so the layout is the same. Thankfully. Our family photos look off. None of them have me in it. And my siblings, their faces seem unfamiliar. What are those weird symbols doing there? Okay, um... I'm not gonna explore. I feel like exploring... Um... Looks like the triples toys have been mostly untouched ever since we left Mallory. Okay, so those things are still the same. Tribes, what a mess. The place has been turned upside down, but nothing is missing. Weird. Okay, that's the same thing. Same thing. Everything the same, okay. I can't help but notice there's no green sky anymore. There's no... There's no Eldritch vibe anymore. Just a very strong person. Wants to, you know, mess us up. I mean, at least that's the same. Looks like Nidal of a Goat. Only it has too many legs and too many eyes. It weighs a ton, too. It's all the same. We need the spray bottle for sure. There's no way we're not gonna spray bottle. Okay. Let's check the book. That's the same. That's the same. That's the same too. Okay, so the book is actually the same. Oh, that seems... Is that new? No, it's not. It is, in fact, the same book. Okay, let's summon the Allmother, I guess. Close any lit candles. There you go. We got the goat. We have the mister. Okay. Come on, Roxanne. Hi. Nah? Stardust? It really is you. I can't believe this. It's me. Roxanne, the Black Goat of the Woods. I remember you. Don't worry, I remember. Really? You do? When I saw the book, I remembered everything. Well, 5% of everything. Most important parts. I remember her, all right. But what happened to the standoffishness? I don't have any memories of being so close. Stardust. My Stardust. It's been so, so long. Has it been? Also, nice. I'll, I'll take it. So long? Feels like I just saw you. This is so different. She's completely lost her composure over me. For me, it's as if hundreds of years have passed. Not that you would have noticed your reality beginning anew. Only cosmic entities still exist in the space between dreams. Wait, us meeting that. Happened in a completely different reality? This is terrible. I know it's a lot to take in, but... You mean I wore the same thing to two dates in a row? That's not the part <laughs> I thought you'd get stuck on. <laughs> You're completely unfazed by the fact you haven't existed for a millennia. Kinda. What were you doing all that time? Trying to avoid falling asleep again. To keep from creating new nightmares. But now that it has begun again... I'm so, so happy that I'm dreaming about you, too. She's brushing my hair with her hand, like a mother cuddling her child. It's nice, but I just realized something terrible. What has Buck been doing all this time? Floating in the space between dreams, strategizing against you, likely. After all, he had nothing to do but reflect on how you beat him. Oh, great. Shoot. I'm going up against someone that knows all of my moves from a parallel parallel reality. 
That explains how I got ambushed. He knew I was coming. We should hurry. I want to hold on to this moment for a bit longer. We might actually have the time for it. Only one cultist is after us this time. Really? Who? I think the other said his name was Billy. Billy? Oh, Stardust. What? Well, is that bad? Very bad. Oh, this is a nightmare. I couldn't bear to watch if Billy catches you. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It didn't seem so bad. She. And the fact that you met her and lived is a miracle. Hmm, I don't know. She seemed different from the others. The rest of the thousand act like mindless zombies, but it's like she was fully conscious. Well, I suppose it's possible that even with her bloodthirst multiplied a thousand times over, that she still has a desire stronger than that. She was one of your tormentors, right? Do you have any guesses about what that desire might be? She has a very odd honor code that she follows to the letter. Her strict adherence to that code is probably the only thing strong enough to overpower my influence. From what I gather, it's essentially the law of the jungle. Big fish eats small fish. Might makes right. Might makes right. But that cannot be right. She takes orders from Buck. That's not why Buck is mightier than Billy. Have you seen her? She probably considers Buck stronger than her because he's immortal. That's a fair assessment. Hmm. So even through Buck is even though Buck is physically weaker than Billy, she still listens to him anyways, because he's essentially undefeatable. I can use that to save all three of us. All three of us? Ugh, Stardust. You got one of the thousand to have a change of heart and join your side. But Billy isn't like the rest of them. The only way to get through to her at all is to speak her language. I'm counting on that. I just have to think of the, something. I suppose I could beat her by finishing the rituals while she's hunting me. But I doubt that she'll just let me go if I succeed. The house is surrounded. There must be some other way to convince her I'm stronger than her. Okay. Now we have to do the feast again. But let's talk to... Oh, we cannot talk to... Aww. I wanna talk to her. Come on, it's a new chapter. There's no way we cannot talk to her. So rude. Okay. So she's probably wandering around, right? She's probably wandering around and we have to, you know, make sure not to get caught. I mean, we will get caught instantly. You can bet your sweet ass on that. We need the blood. I'm not sure which is making me more uneasy. The volume of blood or the fact that this feels familiar. We need the meat. I tear a hunk of meat from the hook. It should be what I'm looking for. I don't remember being this spoiled for choice last time. All this meat. The thousand were really out for blood this time around. Okay, we cannot use the spices still. And I'm, I'm really hung up on those spices. <laughs> this must be the milk I need, right? Better grab this before go uh, before Billy gets me. That's everything. Roxanne, here I come! What's that sound? Oh lord, she coming. Can I hide somewhere? Hidey ho. Could you leave, please? She is roaming. Find a locker. This is not dead by daylight. So she do be Roman, as I expected. Okay, let's... Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, Kitty! Kitty! Hello, little darling! 
Oh my god, we're gonna die. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Poor thing must be terrified with all the commotion going on. Come on, let's get you somewhere safe. What? Its face is missing. What's wrong? Never seen a Russian blue before. <laughs> we know them. We know them from the first game. They got an upgrade too. Roxanne only gave me lightheadedness, but this. My sanity is slipping through my fingers like grains of sand. Pardon my intrusion, but when my niece didn't awaken, wailing and clutching at her sheets, I knew something was amiss. I had to see the source of her pleasant dreams for myself. I've heard much about you. The way my niece spoke of you. Why, you'd think she'd learned nothing from her eternal torment at human hands. Your niece? Roxanne? You are her aunt? Many call me aunt. Others aunt call me the crying chaos, the haunter of the dark, the mind eater, the unknown that pushes back. I've earned many ominous titles and aliases that I don't much care for. But you may call me by one I do quite like. Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> It's like the it's the fucking same from the last game. Yes, Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I'm being driven over the edge. My very sanity thrashing towards its watery tomb amidst the unimaginably thalassophobic void. What is thalassophobic? I miss your auntie. <laughs> Nyan's nieces are all falling in love with humans and every time she gets buttered about it. Yeah, true. True. Oh, having trouble there. Where's that indomitable human spirit that I've heard so much about? Oh, the fear of open water. Okay, thank you. Hmm, hmm. Pathetic. If Roxanne could see the state of you now, she'd know she was wrong about humans. Foolishly believing that humans and gods could be anything more than livestock and butcher. Of admirable, worthwhile traits like kindness and perseverance are just in human nature. How is this their mindset after the first game, though? That silly goat. So old and yet still so naive. Alas, I was once her age, and she has yet to be my age. Her torment will help her grow up. Oh. How dare you? She is suffering. I have seen how much damage this has done to her, and I'm not even halfway through healing any of it. Is this some kind of joke to you? This is gravely serious. <laughs> That's why it's so damn funny. Come now. The very same humans that she lent her power to use it for the sole purpose of inflicting as much suffering upon her as possible. Classic comedy. Ah, the cosmos is always laughing and never smiling. But then you had to come along and muddle the lesson I'm trying to teach her. You will pay dearly for that. Did you come here to... to... Kill you? You're not immortal, so death means nothing to you. You aren't around to see it, and in the next reality you won't even know it happened. All my creativity would go to waste. Besides, I never feel so threatened by a human to step in personally. I'm here for... Oh, what is the human expression of victory lap? I'm here to watch you die when the Thousand takes back the book and Roxanne gets what she deserves for consorting with humans. So, are you the big boss in Chapter 3 then? After I prove I've proven you wrong. And then you're gonna try and stop it actually. You know? I won't let you say something so awful about your own family in the front of me. Like it's nothing. You won't let me. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, I, I love this interaction so much. You must have completely lost your mind, schoolgirl. I'd revert back to my suppressed form to spare your sanity. But that rebellious glint in your eye is really pissing me off. You see this, Mark? I'm etching a permanent tally, counting the number of times that you've been made humble at the bloody hands of the thousand. This one's a given. Okay. This will help you keep perspective. The next time that you think there is any hope, any hope at all, take a good look. Your memories of its significance will come pouring back. Oh, don't worry about it, Lucas. I, I got it. Enjoy resting your head on Roxanne's shoulders while you can. Soon, it won't be resting on yours. Okay. These are the tally marks that Auntie Nyan Nyan have been leaving for me. She's been adding one for every time I've lost. Doesn't really prove much as is. Okay. So we're gonna lose a lot then. If there's actually a marker for that. Can we talk? We cannot talk. Great. Okay. So we got the meat, we got the milk, we got the receptacle. We need red fired candles. Red. There we go. I need to face the candles too, just make sure that it's... Ah, Horea Ogoa, Ya, Pur, Petno, Corona. Ah, that smells wonderful. You're such a good follower of mine. But is it ready? It may not be hot enough. <laughs> Yet. Oh, such decadent, indulgent food can be so messy too. If only we had something to eat off of. <laughs> sure. Always ready for anything, aren't you? I shovel a small handful of morsels into my mouth. Well, I wasn't prepared to meet your aunt. My aunt? Auntie Nyan Nyan? You saw her? What is she doing here? She laid one finger on you, so help me! No, no, I'm fine, really. She just said she was here to spectate. Spectate? What a sick old witch. I'll give her something to spectate. Well, I bet you do. Oh, no, did make her angry? What if we made out right now? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> It'd be so funny, trust me. Sure. Uh, I was being serious. <laughs> it really would have gotten to Auntie Nyan Nyan. We'll do that eventually, but don't know. She seems nice. You're allowed to say you hate my family. She seems nice. And after? After I get to know them, it'll be too late to hate them. I would love to hear about your family, Rexlan. If I ever have a dream where we aren't in so much peril, I'd be happy to tell you all about them. It's a date. Yeah. Wild Evolution, that's a new one, no? I have found a shortcut to uprooting. There's only three rit rituals that need to be done first. Should be faster and easier. Drink directly from a healthy beating heart of the woods. Okay. Drink from a healthy beating heart of the woods. Damn, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a... I'm not sure if I'm a fan from... I'm gonna die. True. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So now what? As soon as I touch the heart, a large quantity of blood spills out onto the floor in front of me. I cup a handful and drink it down. It is strange, but after losing so much blood, the heart appears to have grown slightly larger. I feel a little funny, but it looks like I did it right. 
Okay, now we have to head back. Shit, wrong direction. No. I hope she doesn't come to the hallway. That would be really rude. Hello, I'm back. I'm here to kill you. And hey, wait, wait. No, never mind. We're not here to kill you. Ooh, ah. Yeah, eh, yeah, ot, yeo, gog, no. This I like. Yeah, bet you do. Seeing you in my dark image <laughs> warms me to my roots. Dark image? I don't feel any different. What changed? Let me check my reflection. Stardust, I wouldn't look in the mirror so soon. The shock might be a lot to take in. Okay, but now I basically got a look. Ooh. Deep breath. Be strong. I have goat horns? This isn't so bad. All in all, I think I actually look kinda cute with these. I wonder if they're real. Can I touch them? Oh. What was that? Was that me? And was that my voice just now? I sounded hoarse. Like, I've been screaming at the top of my lungs for hours. But more importantly, what I saw just now... What's happened to me? Whoa, is that a tin can? Something is very wrong with me. Okay, we are actually a goat. Nice. Okay, we have to go to the TV room now. Based on what a device capable of producing sound from a radio signal, ensure that it is on. Chat three times. This ritual will amplify all animalistic behaviors of those within earshot, including Astros and aggression. Don't worry about it, just go straight to Roxanne as soon as possible after che chanting. Trust me, haha. Uh huh. Source, trust me, bro. Let's see. Let's put a peek. Okay, how do I get to the TV room? Take a look. Yeah, she has to be over there, right? Turn on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. Now we're going back, right? And just knowing she's roaming around is a fucking pain in the arse. Uh, this way. Uh, I mean, I'm back. Suddenly, a flower perfume like scent washes over me. Does. Excuse I was me. Just thinking about you. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's awfully drafty in here. Got you covered. Always in the cow. 
What? Oh, mood. Okay. Mood. Got it. That's funny. That, 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 that's a really funny... That's... I... Yeah. I approve. <laughs> I approve. This is a real low point. <laughs> I'm keeping this shirt, by the way. Of course you are. Oh, that old thing? I basically only use it for pajamas. Take it. <laughs> oh, I should reciprocate. Come here. Let me do your horns for you. It won't take long. I sit down while she gently preens and decorates my new set. Sa satyr like spikes. Oh, look at you. So pretty. My sweet buffalo pad. I feel the top of my horns. The tips have been adorned with the lustrous metal. I shake my head a few times. The fit is perfect. Wow! Was that Billy? It sounded like her bat. That was fun, but I better get back to the rituals. Okay. What's next? Let me read the book first, please. Labyrinthine roots. This will expose the psychoactive roots of the Blackwoods, allowing them to burn without an accelerant this time. Cast outside, like on a porch or balcony, but face away from the woods. Do not, do not, yes. Do not look at the woods in any way until the second phase of the ritual is complete. Okay, so we have to go to the balcony now. So, I gotta say, they really stepped up their game in this video game. I am really impressed. Like, la last time it was really not that much. And here you actually have to do stuff and, you know, you can walk around, you have to be worried and... It's, it's freaking scary too. It has the vibe with it this time. Anyhow. Ngangift. Apple sugar or sugar ilia. Okay, what what's next? You may have lost your sense of direction. This is normal. Stay calm. Do not directly view the woods in any way. Okay, I'm back. Kishan just got home. Welcome back. Welcome back, Jules. Do not directly view the woods in any way. Windows and doors included. Until the ritual is concluded. Avoid looking into any mirror. Find your way back to your partner. Chant to hide the roots from your sight. Okay, so we need to go back. Oh jeez. Oh, I looked at the woods. I, I wanted to turn around, but I looked at the woods like an idiot. Gosh darn it. Okay. That's embarrassing. Okay. Uh, not the map. There you go. Going from the bathroom to the hallway. And then... How am I supposed to not look at the thing, though? I need to turn around. Cannot look around, okay. Nope. Oh, I can actually walk here, okay, TV room.
so are they are they randomizing oh cool the door is gone that's fun great wonderful am i stuck here now forever or what There's no door here. Did they do now on the way back. My dad was super happy with Keisha and it worked today. Nice. That's sweet. Love to hear it. You're just freaking wandering around. This is so psycho. Holy shit. I'm really glad that worked out for you. Oh, I should go. Goodbye. Farewell. <laughs> Shit. Bogus. Ah. Darn it. Darn it. Darn your sense of orientation. That is not here at all. Okay, let's move on. We need to make it back to back to our place. Right, that was a dead end. Okay, so I wasn't imagining it. The door was gone. Okay, we need to stay calm. Just wait for the door to reappear. There it is. I should go. What the fuck? Two of them? Okay. That's rude. Oh man, that's really rude. Okay, so I'm assuming the hallway, this hallway was the wrong one, I guess. Like, that was a dead end. Unless there was like a door to the left or right that I didn't see. That's a possibility too. Let's see. Uh, okay, we cannot go this way. That's the TV room. What if we go there? Okay, same thing. Okay, we gotta wait again. Oh boy. I'm not sure which way... Uh, which hallway it was that we went. So I cannot go, it in, go there anymore, I mean. I think we went to the front, so let's go to the back, I guess. No doors, no doors. No doors. No doors. No doors. No doors. There she comes. Oh, 
What if I go back? Okay, she's still coming then. Oh, it was a door. Oh, hey. Hey, babe. I made it home. Uh... Roxanne, I did it. It was the last ritual before I can uproot you. Oh, that's... Great news. <sighs> What's wrong? It's nothing, but... If there's any loose ends left to tie up... Now would be a good time to do it. Before uprooting me, that is. Haste makes waste, after all. I still haven't beaten Billy yet. If I don't do it now, I might not get another chance. But then again, Billy is scary as hell. I was able to survive all this time without getting spotted. But who knows how many times she's killed me in other realities. What happened uh, to her clothes? Um... She was super horny on the bed, like, uh, all naked and, uh, you know, covered in the blanket. And we sprayed her and gave her the t gave, it, gave her the t-shirt to t um, put on. So yeah, that's what happened with the clothes. She was all naked in our blankets. Why would you do that? Because it's funny. Because it would anger you. <laughs> Okay, so how can we defeat Billy? Should we just move on? We're gonna do the other thing anyway, Jules. I just want to play the, 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 the quote unquote good ending first. Okay? Let's go to the heart. We, we, we're getting there eventually, Jules. Don't you worry. I wonder how I can... How would I be able to defeat Billy? Let's burn the heart. While facing a heart, which heart, which heart should I go for? Let's take the red one. From Latke Ngeftok. Don't! Not yet! Please! What are you talking about? I'm not ready to leave yet. You don't know how long it's been since I've had any solace in these nightmares. Since my dreams were something to look forward to. Now that you're here, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. How do I know I won't be alone next time? What if you aren't there to make me feel safe? You just have to dream about me. You're fine. I don't want to leave. Okay, we can stay. What? I'll stay with you here for as long as you need. But we can't. I know that. If we sit around and wait instead of ending this now, bad things will happen to both of us. Lose our opportunity to end things on our own terms. Something bad is bound to happen to everyone. That's life, but that doesn't mean it's not worth living through. I'd never cut my time here with you, sure, just because it'll end eventually. I'll wait here until someone drags me away. I can't ask you to do that. I couldn't do that to us. I couldn't see what they'd do to you. Yes, you could, you big old worry board. <laughs> but. Bad things happen, sure, but they always pass. Plus, you are immortal. Something good enough to make all of this worthwhile is bound to happen eventually. You're right. No matter what happens, it will pass. I just have to be patient. Whatever our time apart holds, I'll have the heart to face it. Thank you. Anytime, Roxanne. Ready? Ready. Alrighty. Thank you, my sweet stardust. Okay, now we gotta escape, huh? I mean, we're probably gonna die since we haven't dealt with Billy. 
Billy Huntress. I mean, we can't hear her anymore. Is the thing. So I guess we are safe to leave. Oh. What happened? Did the whole house fall on me? I don't see any rubble. The book. I've got to take it and... Don't. You can't see your body. But I can. You'll suffer if you try to move. You're finished. No. I'm so close. I reach for the book, but my wrist is kicked aside. Stop already. You're already dead. Even if you can't feel it yet. I'll be taking this to Buck, as promised. I try to yell in protest, but words won't come out. If Buck gets the book back, no. I won't let either of you hurt Roxanne. Not in my house. <sighs> let go. Let go. You can't put up with their fight anymore. There's no glory in prying this book out of your hands now. So admit defeat and let go already. I reach with my other hand and thumb freely along the closet pages for grip. If you're going to dishonor me by not conceding, I'll have to take this by force. There's a loud tearing noise. A pain beyond belief rips through my body. Mm. You ripped out a page as I pulled the book away. Why? You're too wounded to speak. You won't be able to cast anything to save yourself. That doesn't matter now. I know I'm beyond saving. This me, at least. But if what everyone is saying about new realities is true, and there'll be another Stardust another time, then I'll happily pass the baton. But I won't let Roxanne suffer in the meantime. See the Black Woods. You ripped out the page that lets you summon the Black Woods? If that burned with the house, Buck would have no way of summoning Roxanne to hurt her. And she would be saved, right? That's your plan? That's how you're going to waste your strength? <laughs> Useless. I feel my fist being pried open by her inhuman grip. My entire hand goes numb. All of my extremities do. There's a pause before my wrist is released and falls limply to the ground. I hear footsteps retreating as Billy leaves me. I have failed. I was so very close. I am sorry, Roxanne. With my last drop of will, as my vision begins to dim, I turn my head toward my clenched fist. Age still in hand. Let it burn. Oh? She's leaving with a book, but letting me destroy the most important page? There's too much un to unpack here with what little time I have left. So instead, I watch the page in my hand burn to ash as everything goes dark. Roxanne, in this dream, the one about me, you are safe. Stay tuned. Another episode of Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, is coming up. Huh. Even though Stardust lost the battle, looks like she's winning the war, isn't she? Hey, why are we counting on me all of a sudden? Can't you find somebody less famous to get their hands dirty? Next time on Sucker for Love, the lonely devil arrives. Okay. Now who wants an autograph? Not me. I'm good. Okay, now we have to find the true endings, but we're gonna do that.